Hello and welcome to this edition of Hack Naked News. This is episode number 100. I'm your host, Bo Bullock, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about a brand new device that will allow you to steal HTTP cookies from a locked computer system. Also, we'll talk about a potential hacking team Android implant, as well as uh, how you can unlock an encrypted Linux uh, system in less than about a minute and a half. All that and more, stick around. This is a Security Weekly production. Brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. IT Pro TV offers 1,000 hours of up to date, high quality video training content. Course topics include certified cloud security professional, ethical hacking, cryptography, and VMware. You can stream their courses live or on demand to your mobile device, all for one low monthly subscription price and cancel at any time. Visit ITProTV forward slash hack naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HN30 for a free seven day trial and get 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Logarithms Netmon Freemium delivers real-time network visibility to quickly identify emerging threats in your IT environment. Netmon Freemium is a free, commercial-grade network forensics and traffic analytics solution. You can use Netmon Freemium's powerful capabilities to search against all observed network traffic, identify abnormal traffic patterns and application usage, and quickly analyze full packet captures. Take the first step towards real-time network visibility. Visit logarithm.com forward slash freemium to learn more and download it today. Has your network been breached? Cyber Reason can help you answer this question. Cyber Reason products hunt for threats within your network and eliminate them in real time. To Cyber Reason, real time means within seconds. Founded by former military hackers who don't play by the rules, they've built this experience into their platform. Harness ingenuity and imagination, not just code, to defeat attackers. Cyber Reason, disrupt the adversary and let the hunt begin. All right, welcome back. Before we get started, I have a quick announcement to make. Um, IT Pro TV has updated their course library to include CompTIA Security Plus, CISSP, CEH V9, and Red Hat Linux. All right, so um, Hacking Team, back in the news again. Uh, hacking Team is the notorious hacking group that themselves got hacked about a year ago now. Um, they uh, are in the news again because a security uh, consultancy found a, um, a potential Android implant. So the implants are essentially like remote access tools that uh, the hacking team would sell to an organization. Um, and this uh, security researcher at Red Naga Security believes that they found one specifically for Android out in the wild. Now, the, uh, the Android app itself does a lot of the typical stuff that you know, standard spyware and Android malware does. It requests every permission so that it has access to everything on your phone. Um, it claims to be an Android update uh, once it's running. So, um, you know, it looks super legit, right? Um, and the thing that really was like the kicker in the fact that Red Naga Security started thinking that this was, uh, you know, a hacking team built app was that they dug deep enough into the app to find that the C2 communication once it was actually trying to exfil data from the phones, we're actually going to a previously owned hacking team IP. Uh, two of them, actually. And uh, you know, while this is not a definitive factor that this is a hacking team uh, app itself, it's you know definitely points in that direction. Um, and one of the interesting things about that piece is that uh, hack that Red Naga Security pointed out is that you know while it's uh, you know a allegedly a security company hacking team selling a product that potentially, you know, monitors data of, of a, a victim, um, you know, potentially used by a legitimate organization like a government or a law enforcement agency, it was actually transmitting that data over SSL without validating certs. So anyone who even stood up a, a server in between, you know, just had a standard man in the middle situation, was able to intercept that traffic and decrypt it. 
Um, so just kind of an interesting, uh, interesting story there about hacking team. Uh, next up is Android, a uh, new Android backdoor that was on about 120,000 devices. Um, so researchers at CryptoWire discovered a backdoor on about 120,000 devices. Uh, specifically, it's the Blue products, BLU products that uh, typically they're sold at Best Buy and uh, Amazon. <clears throat> And the, this specific backdoor was built by um, this Chinese company called AdUps, which, you know, they've gone on to say that it was, you know, not to be malicious. It's, uh, you know, just a standard procedure, basically, um, that they were requested to do for these phones. Um, but the fact of the matter is that this specific these specific devices were sending full contact or full contents of text messages, contact lists, call logs, location information. It could turn GPS on and off, that kind of stuff um, to China um, from the U.S., which is kind of, you know, obviously scary for everyone. Um, and basically, AdUps has basically said uh, any any data that has been sent there has now been destroyed. But, you know, hey, data was sent to China. So, yeah. <laughs> Next up, um, very interesting vulnerability found in uh, Lux encryption on uh, on uh, Linux devices. So essentially, the uh, Linux unified key setup on disk format, which is your standard hard disk encryption for Linux systems, uh, a bug was found that basically allowed attackers to drop into a root shell without locking in, logging in at all. Um, so the uh, the bug allows somebody who's local to the system to actually drop into an init RAM file system root shell, and you know, one, you know, like while while this vulnerability is, um, uh, you know, allows you to have a shell, it does not allow you to actually access encrypted data. Obviously, it's not actually bypassing the encryption that Lux provides, um, but it still would allow you to copy or modify or even destroy the hard disk or the encrypted hard disk itself, or just copy that disk offline and then perform offline brute force, uh, you know, password cracking attempts against the encrypted file system itself. Or even, you know, in the case of a, a you know, a, a network device, you could, you could potentially use it to access the network at that point. You could, if you, let's say that uh, you found a device um, that had an encrypted uh, file system, boot up, drop into the root shell, you're now in the network. Um, additionally, um, you know, it could provide a privilege escalation situation if you were to create a, you know, a set UID uh, uh, file that you were able to access as a lower privilege user, um, you know, as root to run as root, log in, you know, with a lower privilege user, run the root or run the uh, the higher privilege uh, file that would allow you to escalate privileges. Um, so, which operating systems are actually vulnerable to this? Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, uh, Red Hat Linux. Um, basically every Linux issue that's out there, all the main ones anyway, um, that use Lux for file system encryption. Um, now, the kicker and how to actually exploit this is, is the fun part, right? So um, in order to exploit this, in order to drop into a root shell on a Lux encrypted file system, all you have to do is hold down the enter key for about a minute and a half on boot. So uh, the, the problem there is basically it's creating a number of password attempts. And there's a, there's actually a limit on the number of password attempts you can do with Lux, and once you hit that limit, it just drops you in a root shell. So, anyways, there's a patch in the works. Uh, so, whenever that comes out, make sure you patch your systems. Uh, this is a really interesting new device called Poison Tap. Now, Poison Tap is a uh, a device developed from Sammy Kamkar, who, as everyone knows, is very uh, very very much um, in tune with developing very fun devices for hacking uh, organizations or just you know. Th things in general. Um, this specific device actually acts as an Ethernet device over USB. So when you plug it into a system, it connect. It will actually create a, like an interface uh, that the the computer system will then try to get a DHCP address from. Now, the, this is kind of where the interesting part comes in. So whenever that DHCP address is provided, the device, the Poison Tap device, will actually make it or, or make it seem that all of the internet space is through that device. So when that happens. Um, any any time if a browser is open on that system and has any pages open whatsoever, it will start requesting uh, those pages. So, like, let's say um, you know there's an ad open on a news page on the on the computer system. Um, it'll you know once you connect the, the uh, Poison Tap device in, it'll start connecting through it. And basically, he created it so that the Poison Tap replies to that and starts injecting malicious responses um, enough to actually start capturing other cookies from other sites. So one of the things he does is he actually creates a page that has a million iframes that connect to the top Alexa 1 million sites. And wh while that's happening, it's able to intercept all of the standard HTTP cookies that are being passed along. 
Um, so very interesting attack. Uh, and uh, you know, additionally, it installs like a persistent web-based backdoor that would allow you to actually connect in and, and talk to like an internal router um, remotely, which is very interesting. Um, the kicker with this one is that it does not require the computer to be unlocked. Which is really awesome. So uh, you know, you find an unlocked computer as long as there's a browser open in the background, browser uh, process open that's connected to a site that's going to actually request any page whatsoever. Um, it's able to work. So there's a link in the uh, the show notes for that. Lastly, uh, I want to talk about a really interesting. Um, story that came up. So the US Army is actually gonna have a bug bounty now, um, which is very cool. So HackerOne announced a partnership with the United States Army to launch a bug bounty challenge. Uh, following the very, very successful Hack the Pentagon challenge, we're gonna start seeing more and more government uh, challenges uh, coming coming to life. Um, so with the Hack the Pentagon challenge, there was 138 vulnerabilities that were resolved during the 24 hour period, or 24 day, 24 day uh, pilot program for Hack the Pentagon. Now, um, now they're they're adding on the U.S. Army, which is very cool. It's it's awesome to see more and more organizations going towards a more uh, open approach to bug bounties. That's it for this edition of Hack Naked TV. Uh, you can always check out more Hack Naked TV at hacknaked.tv. Uh, there's the show notes up on wiki.securityweekly.com. Uh, you can email us at the show at hacknaked.tv, and I am on Twitter at DaftHack. Thank you so much for watching.